Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to show you how to, or how we have made a clothesline post. This is something we've been wanting to do here since we moved in and now we're finally getting it together. So we did one yesterday and it's just a tee with crossbars to support and today we're going to show you how to do that how we did it so that you can do it at home as well. Okay, so the wood we're using, we're using an eight foot four by four, and we've got another four by four here, which is not quite eight feet. We're gonna use this for the cross, the cross arm. So the cross arm is going to be 48 inches or four feet long, and we will then use that to create the cross arm Just measure off the 48 inches here. And then after we're done, we can saw it and have that ready to go. So we've cut off our four foot piece, 48 inches, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a half lap in both this piece and the eight foot piece so that we can create the teeth. All right, now to create our half lap in the cross piece, since it's 48 inches, the first thing we need to do is find the center, which of course will be 24 inches. So we'll mark that. center. All right. Then what we need to do is we need to make the half lap this way and we're going to make it one and three quarter inches from each side of the center so that it is the total three and a half inches that the four by four actually is. Sorry, one and three quarters it needs to be. chiseling you'll have to do later. So there's our half lap where that's going to be. All right now for our half lap after measuring the top what we've done is we've done three quarter inches we've marked down I marked the lines down on each side and we've measured down one and three quarter inches and this is the part that we're going to cut out to make our half lap. Okay, so using the miter saw, we've, we've cut grooves into the part where we're going to cut out the half lap. This will make it easier. We can break those pieces out and then do the final cutting out of the shape with the chisel. Of course, we did this side and then we turned it around so we could get it even on the other side. Since the miter saw, the back part of the saw cuts better. If you have a circular saw, then you would be able to just cut straight across and you wouldn't have to worry about flipping the board around. So now using the chisel, I'm just going to get in there, break these pieces, and we can just remove those pieces, and we can use the chisel now to break the rest of them out, and flatten it up and make it more even, so then we can get ready to put it into the other half lap. Okay, I'm going to get this one, the eight foot piece, ready now for the other half lap to do it in here. What we're going to do first is we're going to mark six inches down from the top so that our, that's where we're going to place the arm, only six inches down. Again, now I need to do three and a half inches from there to get the measurement for the other four by four to go into. So what I'm going to do now is I will continue to draw the lines on either side and then I will do the measuring down one and three quarter inches just like we did on the other piece. All 
All right, now we've finished our half laps. Let's get these glued together. I'm going to put plenty of glue on both sides. Spread it around. All right, we have the glue on both pieces. Now we'll just set them in together. to put on the cross pieces. Now that we have the two cro the cross piece together with the half lap, what we need to do now is create our, our trusses to help give it extra support. And what we're looking at doing with this is since we have an eight foot pole, is we're going to sink it two feet into the ground with concrete so that we have six feet above ground. That's the plan. So what we did is we took just any angle, we took an angle, and what we did, we went with 45 degree angle here on this piece of wood. What it comes out to now, we have 21 and a half inches on the long side, 14 and a half inches on the inside. Since this was 45 degree angle, we're going to keep this also 45 degree angle. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever angle you want. If you choose 60 up here, this has to be 30. As long as the two angles add up to the 90 degrees that you have here. We went with 45 degree angle, and so these are the measurements that we came up with. Now, I've taken another 2 by 4 and we've measured the 21 and a half, 14 and a half. What we need to do now is cut on our 45 degree angles, and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue and screw it into the one that we just finished so that we have the trusses going here. Now we've got our two braces cut, what we need to do is just center them on the boards. We will glue them and screw them in so we will have the braces ready to go. Okay, so we have finished with the, the glue is dried, we've put in one brace. And what we ended up doing is we did a little bit of a mortise here, just a quarter inch deep. We did one on each, on the cross piece and on the pole. Now we're just going to stick some glue in there and we'll put our brace in there. Sit it there in the mortise. Now, even though we've glued it there, we're just going to add some long galvanized screws to help keep everything in place nice and tight. So there is our post for our clothesline. We now have them both done and our next step will be we're going to stain it, waterproof it, and then put it in the ground, and we will be sure to show you the video of the installation of it in the backyard. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you for our next video.